Team, what up, family? It's your boy, KOBK. Dr. Claude, it's Clyde, I like to say. And we got Dr. Kimball on the line today. Hey, we got something amazing for y'all today. Kimball's literally about to sit here and show you guys how to set up MT4 platform on your phone. Today, we will be going over the iPhone, the iOS, but the Android is pretty similar as well. So um, without further ado, Dr. Kimball, the floor is yours. What's going on? What's going on? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to that you want to do is actually sign up and create a Hugo's Way account. What you're going to do is you're going to go to hugosway.com or maybe a link that I may have sent you or that we put in the chat or something like that. And uh, when you create that account, uh, this is just your basic information that you're putting in there. And when you sign in, this is what the screen is going to look like right here. Boom. So once you get to this screen, what you want to do is you're going to create a brand new account for MT4. So you're going to go over here under dashboard. You're going to click on my accounts. You're going to go to the right over here. You're going to click on create an account. And then at this point right here, you click this drop down. Now you're going to start off with a demo. This ECN one is for a real account funding your real money, but I'm going to show you how to do a demo. But when you're ready for your real account, you're going to do these exact same steps. The only difference is you're going to click the ECN one. But for this example, it's just for the demo. So we're going to click on demo. You're going to select your leverage. You're going to choose 200. And then your balance can honestly be whatever it want to be. But for this instance right here, I'm just going to use $1,000. And then you click on create account. Boom, see success. Now, right here it says, please check your email for login details. Remember to check your junk mail and your spam mail. So all I'm doing now is I'm going over to my email just to make sure they send it to me. Once you find that email, what you're going to do, actually what you're going to do is you're, you're going to use the, user, the, the uh, demo account number and the trader password. So let me show you what that looks like. One second. Give it one second to link to my phone and boom, here we are. All right, so here's the email that they sent to me, straight to my email. When you scroll down, right here is going to be the uh, your demo account number, and you're going to be using the trader's password for that. So this is the information you're going to be linking into your MetaTrader 4. What you want to do from there is you're going to leave this screen, and you're going to open up your MetaTrader 4 account, right? So at the very bottom, you're going to have quotes, charts, trading, or trade, history, and settings. You're going to click on settings, which we're on right now. You're going to select a new account, but here you're going to log in to an existing account. From this point, what you want to do is in the search bar, you type in Hugo's Way, and you're going to be choosing Hugo's Way Demo 3. Boom. And it's going to tell you which one to choose in your email also. So you see this? Here's your login and your password. So what you do from here is you go back to that same uh, email. You copy your demo account number. You put it in the login portion. It's going to be all numbers for that. And then the password is going to be your trader's password. You copy that. And then you put it into the password section. You click done. And boom, you have just create you have just linked your Hugo's way to your MetaTrader 4, just like that. So now I'm going to go to the next step. So since we are going to be trading digital currencies, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the other thing, the other uh, currency pairs, just to kind of clean up this dashboard right here, just to uh, just to keep just so you can see the cryptocurrencies. So to delete, you're going to click the top left. It's going to be a little pencil. Is going to um, is going to show you all of these. You're going to select all of them from here this point, and then at the top right, you're going to click on the trash can. Boom! You just cleared it out, just like that. Now at the top right, you're going to see that plus button. You click on that plus button, and now you get to choose what pairs you want. So since we're doing cryptos, we're going to choose cryptos at the bottom. Now, the three pairs that we trade the most, these are the only three I'm gonna talk about now. If they ever come and call any other pairs, it's fine, just come back to this screen and you can add those. But we're gonna start off with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is BTC USD. Do not confuse it with BIT, that is not Bitcoin. You wanna choose BTC 
USD right here. And you're just going to click on that plus button. You're going to see it. Oh, so you're going to click on that plus button. You're going to see it disappear. Boom. Now we're going to go to Ethereum. You're going to find ETH USD, which is right here. And you click on the plus button and it's going to disappear. The last one we're going to add is, which is at the bottom, is going to be XRP, which is Ripple, XRP USD. You click the plus button. Once you've done those three, you click the done button and boom, look at that. All three of those pairs are right here for you to access. So get in here and play with this. You can click on it. You can go look at the chart for each one of them. And it takes you to chart. You can go back to quotes at the bottom to go back to, uh, to choose another pair. That's how you go there like that for each one. And if you want to trade it, you just tap on whichever pair you want to trade. You click on trade. And this is the screen that you're going to use uh, to actually take either buys or sales based off of the, uh, the educators uh, a signal that they send to your SwipeCoin app. So that's it. That's how you merge your accounts. Uh, that's how you set up, create an account. That's how you merge your account. And also that's how you uh, add different pairs and delete pairs from your MetaTrader 4 account. So, hey, let's get it here. Let's make this money, this money with the educators and let's learn. Let's create this legacy. Jeez, powerful, powerful, powerful. Hey, brother, one more thing. Can you just show us in this app how to take a trade real quick? Gotcha. So in that same, the same, you go back to quotes. Let's say we're going to take XRP. You click, uh, you tap on it. You click on trade. And let's say you want to buy. One thing you want to uh, focus on, if you're trading under $1,000, only stick with a point uh, with a 0 0.01 lot size, which is this right here, right? And I'm already set on that. But when they call the signal, you're just looking at the price and you're going to click on buy. You just click the buy button and then boom, you're in that trade just like that. Now it shows you your, it shows you your price down here where you're entered in and it shows you where the current uh, price is. You can modify this trade to modify it. You just hold down that button. The reason why you want to modify it is because you'll notice in the swipe coin app, they're also going to show you take profits and stop losses. So you click on modify. And look at that, stop loss, take profit. That's where you put those numbers in that they give you on there. Now, they'll give you three options for take profit. You pretty much choose whichever target that you want. Uh, that is 100% up to you. But make sure you put that stop loss in there too because we're all about proper risk management. Awesome, awesome. And one last thing. Let's just say your XRP USD trade was in profit right now and you were happy with your results prior to it hitting your take profit. Can you show us how to close it manually? Easy, same way you went in there to modify, you'll just hold that down. And instead of clicking modify, you click on close. That brings up this screen, that orange bar right there that says close with, uh, right now I'm in a loss of $1.60, but let's say you're in profit, like you were saying. Let's say if it hadn't hit the take profit, you are up 300, three, 400 bucks, you're like, you know what? I'm cool with that, I don't even wanna wait for it. All you do is just click that button right there that says close, and then boom, it would already secure your profit uh, of that and then it'll show you uh, right here when you click on history, it'll show you that trade that you closed out with your profit. So this example, I just closed it in a, in a negative uh, because the market didn't move yet. But I did this as an example to show you that's how you're going to see where your profit is uh, within this trade. Absolutely, man. I appreciate your time, Kimball. Yes, sir. No it, problem. It, My hey, pleasure. hey, any words of wisdom for the people before we leave? Give me a quote, brother. Give me a quote. <laughs> Dr. Kimball, give me a quote. I know you're ready. Listen. When it comes to trading, three pillars. Be patient, stay disciplined, and don't be greedy. If you stick to those three pillars, you'll never fall over. Jeez. Hey, that's God-driven our leader right there, Dr. Kibble, man. Hey, I greatly appreciate it. Yo, you guys have just been KOBK'd, knocked out by knowledge. We out of here. <laughs>